This is a quick update on the investigation conducted by the police into the cause of death of Mrs. Trinitas Chiamaka Ilechuku, who was said to have passed on the 12th of June 2023. As many of you will recall, there was a public outcry on the internet in June 2023, many people bashed a young man known as Mr. Magnus Ndubisi Ilechuku. They alleged at the time that Ilechuku had beaten his wife to stupor, leading her to untimely death. Some other people alleged that Ilechuku's wife, Trinitas, had two daughters for him and was pregnant with the third child at the time and they had discovered that the third child was going to be a girl and those group of people alleged that Ilechuku wanted a male child so desperately and he could not stand his wife having another female child so he was said to have beaten her up leading to her untimely death there were all sorts of reports pointing to domestic violence as the cause of Trinita's death many people fed on those reports on the internet and they bashed Ile Chuku to the point that could have driven that young man to depression. As if all the internet bashing wasn't enough, Trinita's older brother, who is a lawyer known as Mr. Jude Okafo, was said to have petitioned the police against his sister's husband, Ile Chuku, alleging that he was responsible for the death of his sister. Now, Ile Chuku kept telling people that he was not responsible for anything leading to Trinita's death, his wife, but nobody cared to listen. It all fell on deaf ears. However, Ile Chuku made a shocking discovery when his wife complained of abdominal pain and he decided to take her to the hospital. If you watch my previous video, you would have full details of the story. He wanted to take her to the Niger hospital in Enugu, but she declined. She insisted that her husband should take her to Realign Aesthetic Clinic in GRA Enugu. He obliged her and took her there. When he took her to Realign Aesthetic Clinic, it was there he shockingly discovered that his wife had done liposuction without his knowledge nor consent. Well, it was too late to begin any blame at that point. All he wanted was for her to get better. Any discussion could come afterwards. And so treatment commenced there at Realign Aesthetic Clinic. Few days after they admitted her there, she was transferred by Dr. Okoye to Niger Foundation Hospital in Enugu. That was where she was managed and eventually passed on the 12th of June, 2023. Now, like I said, Trinita's older brother had petitioned the police against his brother-in-law, the sister's husband, Ilechuku. While Ilechuku himself had petitioned the police against Realign Aesthetic Clinic for the death of his wife. And so the police was faced with these two petitions. They had no option but to open up a deep investigation into what exactly led to the death of Mrs. Trinita's Chia Maka Ilechuku. During the police investigation, the police was said to have invited and interrogated eight witnesses and seven suspects. The deputy commissioner of police in Enugu was said to have advised Trinita's family to conduct an autopsy as that was the best way to determine the actual cause of her death. But the family declined. Mr. Jude Okafo, who is Trinita's older brother, was said to have declined telling the police that it was the family's decision not to conduct an autopsy on the sister's body. Now, this is the police report and recommendation. The police stated that the death report from Niger Foundation Hospital Enugu dated 12 June 2023 revealed that the deceased Trinita's Chihamaka Elechiko Okafo died of disseminated intravascular coagulopathy. That there is no evidence direct or circumstantial to the effect that husband of the deceased Mr. Magnus Ndubisi Elechiko unleashed domestic violence or assaulted the deceased on 7th of June 2023 as alleged by the petitioner. Now the petitioner they're referring to in this case is Mr. Jude Okafo, the older brother to Mrs. Trinita's Chiamaka Ilechiko. So this is the conclusion of this matter. Mrs. Chiamaka Trinita's Ilechiko did not die of domestic violence as alleged by her family, the internet, and so many keypad warriors. 
that investigation had been done and concluded by the police in Enugu State. At this point, so many people are wondering, why did Trinita's family refuse an autopsy but wanted to put the blame of her death on her husband? If they were sure that her husband was responsible for her untimely death, couldn't they have just admitted to an autopsy to back up their claims so that if Ilechuku is found guilty of that, he should pay for his crimes? How do you try to find the cause of death of your loved one and refuse an autopsy? This group of people are saying it doesn't make sense to them. Now, while this group of people are saying this, another group of people still hold so strongly that they believe that Trinitas went through domestic violence in the hands of her husband and that maybe the police did not have sufficient evidence to that allegation. But this group of people are saying they strongly believe that she was met with domestic violence by her husband. Well, guys, this is the conclusion of this matter. We pray that the soul of Trinitas will continue to rest in peace and we hope that women out there or anybody at all going through domestic violence will speak out, most especially with evidence. In the meantime, guys, take care of yourself, take care of your emotions, take care of your mental health, be kind to yourself, be kind to the people around you, and always stay safe. I remain Dorcas Ige Olukan and I love you guys.